At this point right here is where the male and female would have bored through the bark. In the western United States and southwestern Canada, mountain pine beetles are killing trees and showing no signs of stopping. They're wiping out one species, whitebark pine, at such a high rate, conservationists want it listed as endangered. They filed a lawsuit to try to force an endangered species designation that could bring more funding and attention to these dying forests. White barks are found at high elevations. In the northern Rockies, a new study of the greater Yellowstone ecosystem shows a dire situation. We believe about 70% of the white bark pine in the ecosystem is dead. That finding comes after aerial surveys of six national forests and two national parks, including Yellowstone. The pines are not commercially valuable. They're too shrubby and out of reach for most timber companies. But their loss could harm downstream farmers. The very fact that white bark is up at the highest elevations and shading the snow means it's regulating downstream flow. Uh, by doing that, it ensures that the farmers and ranchers down valley have a supply of water throughout the summer. And they do more than slow snow melt. White bark plays a lot of different roles. Uh, it feeds wildlife, it um, nurtures other trees, uh, it comes in after fire, it protects our snowpack, and yet white bark pine is declining and declining rapidly. The tree's high fat pine seeds feed Clark's nutcrackers, squirrels, and grizzly bears. Grizzly bear females can pack on a lot of fat, hundreds of Big Macs worth of calories they can consume uh, by raiding squirrel middens. Grizzlies, especially pregnant females, could be hard pressed to find a high fat substitute as the forests die. But there is hope. Yep. Here's a completely eaten cone. The projects we've been working on are collecting seeds, so collecting cones. That's been our big focus lately because we are afraid that we're going to lose a lot of our genetic diversity. Seeds can be used to replant forests. Managers can also try to keep white barks alive by protecting them from beetles and wildfire. But that can get expensive. We don't get appropriated dollars, obviously, because it's not a commercial species for one, but it's also uh, a species that's not on a lot of people's radar screen right now. That's one thing those who care about these trees hope to change. For Assignment Earth, I'm Gary Stryker.